Today we're starting off our day in Cape Town. Our friend Monica's visiting us, so we thought it was a really great opportunity to take her on a food tour. So Yum. today we're yes, doing please. our second food tour with the same group called Eat Like a Local here in Cape Town. We highly recommend it. Clearly we liked it so much that we're doing it a second time. We'll put the link in the description below, but come along with us as we try some food before we work today. And it's going to be a long day of eating, so I'm not mad about it though. No, definitely but let's go see what we have here in store. Okay, first thing of the day, a little fruit cup with some gooseberries in there. Granola bowl? Oh, I didn't see the other side. There is granola on there. Okay. How is it? It's really good. You're right. It is right in front of my face. It's good? I have a And then we also got, we started off at Stelsky, so I got a cup of cappuccino. What'd you get? I got my Americano, per usual. Nothing new there. Cheers. Cheers. Okay, so for our second stop today, we're stopping at Atlas Trading Company up in the Bocop. Uh, we're gonna learn a little bit about spices here and then we're gonna walk directly up the street a little bit to do our first official tasting of our food tour. I'm really excited for this. So if you come within the spice shop, they have a bunch of different things. They have grains, they have flowers, they have spices, they have sauces, they have teas. I like coming here a lot because then you can get at least a different array of different things. They have a really good samosa dip. Highly recommend. All the spices, all the sauces. They don't have it here right now, but if you do come in here, if you see samosa dip, get it. You won't regret it. All the spices. I like too how there's like different sizes. And the good thing at least is like, you could get like tinier ones if you wanted to buy some people gifts. I think this is like a really good gift to bring home. And they're small enough where you could put them like in yeah. your bag and stuff too. I feel like the most common to Perry Perry, and then the mother-in-law spice and the father-in-law spice. I'm excited for this. Uh, yes, I am very I know excited. it's coming. Yeah, I'm very excited for this. Yeah, it's my favorite thing. <laughs> this is gonna be wonderful. I'm so pumped. Okay, so up at the top of the stairs, at the top of Bocomp, we're met with Faiz's home kitchen. Gonna get the best cook sixes in Cape Town. Very exciting. What are you eating? This is amiibos. What does it taste like? It's like dried fruit and it's like sweet. It's very good. I like it. It's like salty, sweet, corn deal. Whenever you describe good. things, you go, it's good. I'm like, it's good, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Most of the time that's good. It reminds me of like Lori's, but yep. like like a toned down version of it. I like it. Very good. Indian samosa, traditional, almost thick, doughy, three-dimensional shape. Uh, also more reminiscent of an empanada than actually uh, this samosa that we're gonna eat here. This is a combination between like a thin spring roll pastry, flour, water, oil, rolled super thin and each layer would be greased and then more layers rolled on top. This is what I dream of all the time. <laughs> is this, all of them, all three of these, and this sauce especially. Growing up in an Indian household in uh, South Africa, I thought these were ours. Meanwhile, they came from the origins of Cape Town that filtered into our food culture. So you're gonna have ground chicken or ground beef on the inside. You have got a spicy dipping sauce. It's spicy flavorful. And then you've got a dalchi, ground chickpeas. Every culture's got a format of a deep fried dough ball, right? Mm -hmm. um, if I have to fry them, I like... It's so good. Uh, it's so good. Jalapeno. There's like a bunch of different vegetables in here, onions. It's so flavorful. That's my jam. Like moist. Mario's? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. So good. I've, this is good. I dream of this all the time. But this, this is where it's at. And here's some of the sauce too. Yeah, it's a different outer layer than the ones that we're used to. At. Oh, that's a good crunch. Yeah. <laughs> that's a good crunch. Yeah, this one is. 
Yeah. It's more round and thick. Yeah. yeah. The sauce. It's, it's this like chili sauce that's like just so, so it's like delicious. It's not too hot. It has this. Um, the oh, crunch in here. The chicken's so good in here. <laughs> so we have two types in South Africa: kusista, kusista. Kusista is belonging to the Cape Malay, so this also dates back to so many years. This is like the you would be a donut, but please don't call it that. Kusista. So it's mixed with Kusista. aniseed, ginger, cinnamon, tangerine peel, dried and grape, then dipped into hot syrup and sprinkled with coconut. There is also a Afrikaans version of this dish called I love it so much. <laughs> Yeah. 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 It's like sticky too. It's so good. It's like sticky, the coconut. It's like really the best coast It looks like it's dense, but it's actually pretty fluffy. So far, so good, yeah? Yeah. I'm really enjoying myself on the food tour. I'm having a good time. I could eat 10 more of those. Oh, 100% I could eat 10 more of those things. We need to go back and get them. I really do like this. So I'm not the biggest fan of chocolate, but this place, I'll make some exceptions. Definitely the best brownie in the world. Yeah? A hundred percent. You agree? A hundred percent. I love this. <laughs> this and the fudge, one thousand percent. And you normally don't like chocolate at all. I hate chocolate, but this, this is, really is why good. we keep coming back here. Let's try her. Next stop on our food tour, we're in one of my favorite places in Cape Town, the Company Gardens. I like it because of all the green, because of all the birds. It's just my happy place in Cape Town. I think it's mainly the pigeons. It is partially, a big, a big partially the pigeons. Three more stops. I'm sorry. Um, 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 
Salome. Salome. Yeah, Ready? Like pickled onions that are inside this are so good. Pickled onions. And little jam. Oh, I gotta dive into this. And this roti's really good too. Yeah, I gotta dive into this. Mm. Make a sandwich here. Salumi, baby. That's what I'm talking about. That's good. That's really good. Oh my god. I thought you were joking about the onions. The onions really do come through. Yeah, no, this is really, this is really good. I'm gonna need a nap after this for sure. Okay, so after our last stop, we are going to one of my favorite coffee shops in the city called Heaven. It's in a church. Let's go. South Africa's hot dog. Thank you so much. Yes. And it's you. the best hot dog you're ever gonna have. This is a springbok and beef hot dog. Traditionally, Burrobos is beef and pork. This one is springbok and beef. A Burrobos is traditionally made on a braai. A braai is our barbecue. A braai is something that you would never light on gas. If you invited people to your house for a fry and you let up a gas fry, they will leave. <laughs> Charcoal is swearing, but still possible. You gotta light a wood fire and let it kind of burn down to the coals. And through that process, you would have finished seven beers and forgotten about it and put more wood on. How good does this look? It smells really good. And the beer that you got is from Devil's Peak, which is, used to be like a local small mm. craft brewer. This is really good. <laughs> <laughs> Makes me happy. You see, let me take a look. The is so good. Mm. It's like sweet and salty and spicy. The bun is so delicious. Mm. All right. Oh, warm. I'm gonna take a bite now. Springbok. So for our last stop, we are seated beneath the oldest grape-bearing vine in the Southern Hemisphere. We're gonna enjoy some wine. We're gonna enjoy some boba tea. You just said boba tea. It's not boba tea. What is it? Bobo tea. Bobo tea. We're gonna enjoy some bobo tea, <laughs> some wine, not boba tea. Uh, and that's gonna pretty much bring us to the end there. Thanks so much for joining us today. Hope you enjoyed watching us eat as much as we enjoyed eating the food. We'll put the link to the Eat Like a Local Food Tour in the description below for your next trip to Cape Town. If you enjoyed our video, make sure you like and hit subscribe to follow along for the rest of our adventures. Until next time, we'll see you around.